what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm making a video on how to make a producer tag when you don't have a microphone and i know these days a lot of people are starting on fl studio and sometimes you just need something that can help you protect your songs and your beats while you're waiting to get the right equipment to make your studio more professional i wouldn't recommend this method but i'm going to show you anyways just in case you're that person who is no other way of doing it um just to give you a little bit of hope or something like that <laughs> so i hope um you follow me through this and at the end you'll be able to make a pretty good voice take after watching this video so yes without wasting your time let's jump into the video so step number one what you need to do is come to your browser and go under speech here under speech you are going to click and you're going to see all these presets of a uh, uh, text to voice or what they call speech synthesis in FL Studio. So they already come with your FL Studio already there. So what you just need to do is uh, pick up one that you like. I just like to choose a random one because I'm going to change the settings anyways. So here we're going to choose one called Alphabet Soup. I think I like the name. So just click on it and put it in a new channel so alphabet loop sounds something like this before we do anything to it yeah i'm so sorry for teaching you the alpha first thing we need to change is what the speech synthesizer is saying so i'm going to remove the abcds and put in what i wanted to say i wanted to say step father because that's the name of my channel that's the name of my record label so yes we're just gonna type in step father right here once you type in step father you're just gonna come here and uh choose a key that, that you wanna play it in uh let's try c3 step father. Step father. So it just says step further, but you listen to it, you like it. If it's what you wanted to achieve, then you can move on. But if it's that's not the one that you want, like for me, I don't like that. So I'm going to go into the settings and try to tweak them to something that is more like something I'm looking for. So the first thing I, I'm going to be doing is change the personality of the voice. So here, if you click, you see a drop down of some personality of the voice. There's a male, a female, a large male, a child, a fly. I don't know if you'd want your fly to do a producer tag for you, but yes. For me, I'm going to choose one that says Colossus. Colossus, something that I I, I just like the way it sounds much more voice tagish to me. So under that, you see what it says style. The style is out of voice is going to pronounce or say the fact. Do you want it to sing or you want it to run or you want it natural? Natural. In person, I'm going to try to make a voice tag. Sounds a bit like a person, of which I think it does a very terrible job with that. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me clearly because I left to finish the stand up, but uh, I'm, I promise I work on that in most. So, yes. Um, under mod, you see you want your voice to be heavy, like a person is out of breath, or you want it whispered. So, I like to keep mine on normal. Just like that. So, if, if, we are, if this achieves what you're looking to do, uh, feel free to just press accept and move on but i like to change the words so somewhere around 200 but fits some of the beats that i make and some of the songs that i i do so for me i'll just keep the word at 200 then after i'm done i'm going to press accept and it's going to ask me to save so when you save you want to give it a fancy name don't just step, leave it like what i'm doing right now <laughs> So yes, I'm going to call this one Stepfather Colossus 27 because I'm terrible at giving things names. So after that, I'm going to say you're going to see this box where you see the audio and the, here we can start routing the audio into the mixer track so that we can put some effects onto it. So what I'm going to do is just come up here on the corner and press track. This tells FL Studio to send the audio into a mixer track so we can put effects on it so before we jump into the effects i just want to make sure i put it in the song mode so that we're able to loop it and hear how it goes so i'm going to take this down there and close that when this pops up i'm just going to make sure that it's on mixer track 8 something like that okay so now when you play it uh in song mode <laughs> when you play it in song mode it's going to show you step further here on track number eight so just to keep things neat we're just going to call this step further oh step further 
um, tag and give it a nice color so that it just looks pretty something like that that would work so after that we can if we play it it's gonna loop 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 so i wanted to add some reverb and i don't want it to loop so far so i'm just going to one that i'll click later uh, so that it doesn't loop on this one alone it is time to go over there and we'll be able to hear the reverb so if you go back to the mixer track uh, i'll add reverb um just click that uh you if you don't know how to use reverb i suggest that you just go into the presets and just pick one that you like so right now i'm in a small studio so i'll, I'll probably choose small studio and see how that goes so that's a little bit something that i don't i'm not pretty sure of i'm just gonna play around with the settings until i find something that i like so i'll change the room size to be a little bit bigger okay that's nice we're gonna turn it down to around 20 percent don't want a lot of reverb okay that's proper we're gonna increase the diffusion to like maximum because why not <laughs> so yes um, okay so something like that um you can increase the decay okay i think i like it like that so after you're done with that you give uh done your producer tag and this and this is what you like and you're done so all you have to do now is just to save it and make sure you put it in the in the in your sample pack where you're able to extract it whenever you need it if you don't know how to put it in a place that shows up in your browser i've made a video about that i'll leave the link in the description so that you can go check it out and you'll be able to put this producer tag so that it shows up in your browser saving you time when you just need to import it after you're done with the song so for me that's how you make a producer tag when you don't have a microphone but i would i strongly suggest that you use uh, your phone microphone or uh, if you can't try find a, a vocal on youtube or on google that says something that goes along with your producer tag um, I'm going I'm going to try to make another video on how you are able to do that and some sites that I recommend that you visit. So if you guys would like something like that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and also leave a comment. And so for me, that's how you make a producer tag without a microphone. I hope you found this video uh, helpful and uh, cheers. I'll see you tomorrow.